Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Cropper here. Uh, Mr. Scientific Discussion, uh, previously known as Take a Left, has been hounding me recently to explain why I think his thinking is concrete, too concrete to accommodate metaphors. What do I mean by this? There are two aspects or two ways of thinking that are diametrically opposed, they're opposite, and both are wrong. Okay, You have to synthesize the two to get to get a correct thinking method. But the two incorrect thinking methods are, on the one hand, demonstrated by scientific discussion, and on the other hand, demonstrated by Azrianov. Opposite uh, thinkings. Azrianov couldn't put something down into the real world if he tried, and scientific discussion couldn't get up out of the real world if he tried. For example, I do a video series on the lessons we learned from Soviet technological achievements, namely, there were no Soviet technological achievements. And the lesson we learned from the MiG fighter jet th that had one good quality, its engine. Other than that, it was a flying piece of crap. And we eventually had a 13 to 1 kill ratio against it. And it was the, you know, greatest frickin' thing ever, according to a lot of the boosters of Soviet Russia. But, as it turns out, it was a Rolls-Royce engine design from Britain that made that such a good fighter jet. He replies to this, scientific discussion replies to this, and he can't get up there into the abstract world. All he can do is just the concrete, so we don't have to connect two thoughts together or anything. We can just point at one thing, a concrete, obvious thing, his sources, right? Now, he points out that I didn't give a fully detailed history there were other MiG fighter jets. Someone else says there were actually fighter jets that saw airtime in World War II. Yeah, German experimental planes, like three of them. You know, built, they weren't mass production units, they were individual test units. So, uh, none of that is significant. And even if it were significant, it's certainly not significant to the point of my video. So, I post a video with an abstract theme and my evidence proves it. And he comes along and he, the, it's like the only thing they teach in the education system in Denmark perhaps is you're nothing on your own. You have to quote other people. You have to be part of the group of, you know, the academia or, or whatever the hell it is. So he's really obsessed with sources and and I can't find anything else he's obsessed with. And that is a really concrete way of looking at it. Because if he said, wait a minute, Mr. Cropper, look at this source that you've, you've, you looked over, you know, it, 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 it affects your case, it affects your conclusion. Or, look at this uh, source that you've cited here. You should actually reach the opposite conclusion. But no, no. He says, you didn't do your sources properly. You're an idiot. That's all he can give me. That's all he can give me. And again and again and again in discussions with him, or he, he, he discussing things with others and comments and so forth, again and again and again, it's just beyond him to step up into the abstract world. Everything is on a concrete level, and any explanation, any explanation at all it, that, that uses principle, well, hell, any explanation that doesn't use... Any, no explanation can get to him because he's too concrete. Now, that means he's just stuck in the real world and can't get up into the world of ideas. Azarenok's stuck up in the world of ideas and can't get back down to the real world. Uh, what we need to do is realize that any ideas we have in the world of ideas have to have come from the real world. And that the real world itself implies a world of ideas that we need. You know, we have to build this world of ideas to, to deal with things. So we have to integrate reality and the mind. We can't just go with the mind like Azarenok, and we can't just go with reality and screw the mind like scientific discussion. So that's what I mean when I say his thinking is too concrete. I was just going to let sleeping dogs lie, but he kept on going with it. So he just kept wanting to know, what do I mean by that? So there it is. Your thinking is too concrete. You can't use abstractions. You can't step up into the world of, of, of metaphor or advanced thought. 
All you can do, Mr. Discussion, is talk about how many uh, sources and how properly they were sourced and stuff. What about the abstract ideas? What about the conclusions? What about, uh, I mean, I mean, if, if all you have, Mr. Discussion, is good methodology, and that's all you have is, is just that you cite your sources correctly the way they taught you, and, uh, I mean, if that's all you have, it's shit, the Nazis had good methodology.